moment and this this is the Walt Disney World Resort in Florida it's unbelievable over 40 square miles of Disney magic it's the most popular holiday destination in the world with the most amazing things to see and do it's just brilliant looks great doesn't it those are just some of the magical things you can do here we're only going to be scratching the surface in this video but I hope we can help you out with some essential information and some hot tips and for May 1998 we've got some really exciting news as well we asked two families to join in. They had already planned and booked their holiday through Unijet. Unijet offer a great range of deals, flights, a range of hotels, including some of the most popular hotels in the Walt Disney World Resort, and all your passes for the theme parks. We asked our families to make a film of their holiday, and we asked them to come along here to Mickey's Toontown Fair in the Magic Kingdom Park to tell us what kind of a holiday they have had. Here they are. These are the cans from Coventry. And these are the coal wells from Poole. Walt Disney World has the most spectacular hotels in Florida, perhaps even in the world, all individually themed with great facilities and fantastic service. There's a resort hotel for all types of budget and there are significant benefits in staying in one. We'll be looking at those in more detail in a moment, but one of the best is that you can get an unlimited magic pass that covers the whole of your stay, giving you access to the Disney theme parks, water parks, Discovery Island and Pleasure Island for the whole time. If you're staying off-site, you should get one of these before you go. The Walt Disney World 7 Day All-in-One Hopper Pass. They give you unlimited access to the theme theme parks for seven days and they get you into the three water parks Discovery Island and Pleasure Island. You can hop back and forth as much as you like for seven whole days giving you the flexibility you need to make the most of your holiday. You can also get a five day all-in-one hopper pass but with the exciting news we have coming up you're going to want a full seven days I guarantee it. You can buy one in any Disney store in the UK. As an added bonus there they'll give you a free wallet to keep your pass in and special tags for your luggage or ask your travel agent for details. So now you're off on your trip heading for the experience of a lifetime. The first thing you experience is Florida, USA and the first impressions of this beautiful state. There's masses to do here. Beaches, river trips, wildlife, including those scary looking alligators, water sports, golf, historic sites and attractions and great shopping. But the main attraction has got to be the magical Walt Disney World Resort. The best reason for being here? Fun, sports, adventure, excitement, relaxation and sheer magic for the whole family. All your favourite characters come to life here. Everything you know and love about Disney. The magic is real at Walt Disney World. Let's look closer starting with the main theme parks. Which will be your favourite? The Magic Kingdom Park is perhaps the most famous, with fun and excitement for the whole family. There's something for everyone here. Watch out for the dastardly pirates of the Caribbean. You can fly with Dumbo. There's the seriously scary alien encounter. And of course, those big rides. Shoot into the darkness of Space Mountain, or scream your head off on Big Thunder Mountain. I caught up with the cans and the coal wells at the sensational Splash Mountain. Wow! What was that like then? Brilliant! Yeah. 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 <laughs> Who got Brilliant. the wettest? <laughs> the two at the front. Ah, the ones at the front. Wherever you are in Walt Disney World, there's great places to eat with all kinds of food. It's good value too, and this is what they call a sandwich. Allow two days to explore the Magic Kingdom properly. There's a whole world to see. Main Street USA, Frontierland, Adventureland, New Tomorrowland, Liberty Square, and for children of all ages, 
Fantasyland. And this, of course, this is Mickey's Toontown Fair. Lots of fun for the younger children where they can meet their favourite Disney characters, including the most famous mouse in the world and the gorgeous Minnie Mouse. Hello, Mickey. Hello, Minnie. You look fantastic and I love your house. And don't forget, as well as all the things we've already seen, there are parades and fireworks that will dazzle and delight you. There's a parade every afternoon and often spectro magic in the evening, the nighttime spectacular. Schedules are posted on the tip board near Cinderella Castle and on a map which you can get when you arrive at the park or at your Disney Resort Hotel. And that's one of the things that's just so great about this place. The magic never stops from early in the morning until late at night. There's always something new going on. And that's just one theme park. Let's see how these guys got on and what the hot tips are on how to make the most of it. So, did you enjoy the Magic Kingdom? Walk down Main Street and the site is just unbelievable. My favourite is um, Big Thunder Mountain and I've got a soft spot for It's a Small World. Always have to do that one. <laughs> Adam? I like Space Mountain and Big Thunder Mountain. Naomi, there's quite a few queues. Do they bother you? Not really. There's lots of characters and people wandering around and you don't really notice the time. So we saw the, uh, the afternoon parade, which is uh, quite something. Laura, what's been your favourite ride in the Magic Kingdom? It's a small world. The most exciting ride is Splash Mountain and Big Thunder Mountain. Yeah, very, very good. So this Just to see the look on the children's faces is very, very good as well. It brings a lot of joy to adults. So that's the Magic Kingdom. Where to next? Disney Studios. Disney Studios. It looks more like New York to me. Yes, this is the theme park, which is also a working film studio, giving you a flavour of movie action past and present. You can find yourself caught up in the action, as well as a great range of entertainment. Stage shows based on Disney classics like The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Beauty and the Beast and The Little Mermaid. Action adventure like the Indiana Jones epic stunt spectacular? You can save the galaxy in Star Tours, join Kermit and his pals in Muppet Vision 3D. Shrink yourself to enjoy the Honey I Shrunk the Kids playground and check out the tricks in Roger Rabbit's Looney Bin. And you have to try this. It'll scare your socks off. I guarantee you've never been in a lift like this. The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Laughing your head off, what was it like? It was really fast. My legs are like jelly. Brilliant. Did you? Oh, yeah. Still shaking. Still shaking inside. It's just incredible. You can drop. It's absolutely amazing. When you've recovered, make time for the Backlot Tour, which shows you how movies are made, including the amazing Catastrophe Canyon. And there's a working animation studio demonstrating the skills that make all those Disney classics so popular. The Disney Studios are also the home of some great parades. The latest is the colossal Disney's Hercules Zero to Hero Victory Parade. And there are some really fun places to eat here. The sci-fi dining theatre restaurant brings back memories of all those corny B-movies. The 50s primetime cafe is a must for old TV fans. And for a special meal, there's that famous Hollywood restaurant, the Brown Derby. Let's see how the families enjoyed the Disney Studios and what the hot tips are. Keith. Oh, it's an awe-inspiring place. There's so many different things to do, from the stunt show through to the animation tour. We, all four of us, enjoyed it just as much as each other, I think. I like the, the 3D Muppet, uh, Muppet vision the best. I like Tony, I shrink the kids. <laughs> what did you like about the Disney Studios? I like the Little Mermaid story. That's my favourite. I like seeing how the pictures are made, you know, it's... Uh, very technical in places. The Indiana Jones oh. show, that was quite spectacular. That's one not to be missed. Now the third main theme park is... Epcot! Step into the future in Epcot to marvel at the huge geosphere of Spaceship Earth and a whole world of innovation and discovery. Explore Future World, eight huge pavilions that offer a glimpse into the future and the science of discovery. 
The Imagination Pavilion features a brilliant 3D show, Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. The Wonders of Life Pavilion has the amazing Body Wars. The Living Seas looks at life in the ocean with fascinating live sea creatures and a major dolphin research project. This huge saltwater tank is so big that you could fit Spaceship Earth inside it and it wouldn't touch the sides. At Epcot, the future is fun, showing you the latest dramatic developments that science has to offer. Epcot also features the World Showcase, showing you 11 countries around the world and their unique cultures. Japan, Canada, Morocco, Mexico, France, Germany, Italy, Norway, China and USA and of course the UK. If you're missing home there's a genuine British pub here with proper beer. World Showcase is also another great place to eat. All these countries offer authentic cuisine prepared by experts. It's fantastic, a whole world tour in one place. I suggest you book early in the day for your evening meal. You can use the WDW Dine number on the phone in your resort hotel. Or you can get advice on where to eat and book a table in Epcot at one of these world key booths. Hello Joanne. Hi there, how are you? The incredible Illuminations Laser and Fireworks Show happens every night in Epcot, so make a reservation for dinner and stay on for this truly spectacular show. Remember, with your seven-day all-in-one hopper pass, you can come and go as you please, so spend the day at the pool or the Magic Kingdom Park and come to Epcot to eat and enjoy Illuminations. <laughs> OK, Epcot. Sue, what was your favourite thing at Epcot? I like the Imagination ride. Um, also like the fireworks in the evening. There's two worlds there really, you've got the lands where you've got the different countries and of course you've got the view of tomorrow from the uh, Disney's perspective. I think my favourite was Honey I Shrunk the Audience, that is brilliant, got to go to that one. Daily schedules for Epcot are posted at the entrance to the Interventions Pavilion just under Spaceship Earth. Try and visit every country and world showcase, they're all so different. Those are the three theme parks. We've seen the Magic Kingdom, the Disney Studios and Epcot. But now for the big news I mentioned earlier. Disney is about to unveil a brilliant new theme park. Disney's Animal Kingdom Park will be opening in May 1998. Disney's Animal Kingdom will be packed with adventure for the whole family to enjoy. Get ready to embark on a heartwarming, heart-pounding personal adventure into the unpredictable world of animals. Disney's Animal Kingdom is the biggest theme park yet and will be like no other adventure into the wonders of the natural world. Take off on an African safari where you will encounter real elephants, lions and herds of zebra and giraffe. Then suddenly you are caught in the middle of a harrowing chase after a dangerous band of elephant poachers. Journey through a lush jungle coming face to face with a magnificent troop of gorillas. In Dinoland USA, travel millions of years back in time to the age of the dinosaurs where you will set out on a heroic voyage to rescue a dinosaur from extinction. Only moments before a fiery meteor obliterates the earth, the age of the dinosaurs possibly you. There's fun for the children with a dinosaur dig and excavation site and living plants and animals that have survived from the age of the dinosaurs. At the heart of it all is the astonishing tree of life with over 300 animals carved into it. Inside there's a fun look at some of the planet's least known wild creatures from the world of insects. And join your favourite animal characters from Disney, including an entertainment extravaganza featuring characters from Disney's The Lion King and a spectacular celebration of the never-ending circle of life. Whether real, imaginary or extinct, the animals who rule this domain will ensure a marvellous adventure into the wonders and thrills of Disney's Animal Kingdom. So if you come after May, there'll be four fantastic theme parks packed with things to see and do. But after a busy couple of days of exploring one of the theme parks, you might want to relax. And we're better to do that than at one of the three water parks. Did I say relax? Well, you don't have to.
Plummet Plummet, one of the tallest and fastest free fall water slides in the world. It's part of the amazing Blizzard Beach and I never thought you'd catch me swimming in the snow. And there's River Country, situated near Fort Wilderness. It's ideal for families with younger children. There's Whitewater Rapids and the Kiddies Cove. Or soak up the tropical atmosphere in Typhoon Lagoon. But watch out for those waves. This is one of the biggest wave pools in the world. And there are some brilliant water slides. Humunga Cowabunga, the Jib Jamma and the Rudder Buster. So which water parks did you enjoy the best? I liked Real Country. Lots of things there for the children to do. Characters come there, the kids. Brilliant. I like Typhoon Lagoon. It's very tropical, very relaxing too. Oh, Blizzard Beach has got to be the best. Best rides, <laughs> fastest. I like Typhoon Lagoon. It's very relaxing. There's lots to do. I like River Country because there's lots of slides to go down. All three water parks are patrolled by trained lifeguards, just like these guys, so you can relax and enjoy the fun. There are showers and you can rent towels and lockers so you don't have to bring a thing. So what else do you want to do on your holiday? Well, you might want to shop, for instance, and you might want to party. And it comes as no surprise that you can do both right here in the Walt Disney World Resort. The brand new downtown Disney area is the new, brighter and better place to shop with the world's largest Disney superstore and a whole range of other stores selling clothes, arts and crafts and souvenirs. a resort ID card which allows you to charge most purchases in the parks to your hotel room. Thank you. Anything you buy like Mickey Mouse here will be delivered free of charge to your room so that you don't have to carry him around. There are astonishing restaurants like the Rainforest Cafe. I think my table's ready. Andrea Boardman, please approach the elephant. Your adventures are about to begin. Andrea. There is literally enough to do here night and day for a week. For evening entertainment, there's Pleasure Island offering something for everyone with seven themed nightclubs, a huge Planet Hollywood, yep, food again, and a 24-screen movie theatre. And entertainment does not stop at the downtown Disney area. There are brilliant family shows like the hoop de doo Musical Review and traditional favourites like the Polynesian Luau, but be sure to book early for these popular attractions. You can book by calling this number, 407 939 3463. If you're feeling energetic, the Walt Disney World Resort is the place for sports. Golf is a firm favorite here, with five championship PGA courses, as well as brilliant mini golf in the Fantasia Gardens. Take to the water for all types of boating and water sports, like water skiing, Brush up on your tennis game, ride a horse along the trail, or try your hand at fishing. In May 1998, Disney Cruise Line is being launched. You can stay at the Walt Disney World Resort and then set sail on a fabulous voyage on Disney Cruise Line. Welcome aboard the Disney Magic. With four themed restaurants on board, a different Broadway-style show every night, a whole separate deck for children and teen activities and Beat Street, an exclusive nighttime district for adults. This is the cruise of a lifetime. It's a first from the dream makers of Disney. That's you! Introducing Disney Cruise Line. Imagine combining a Walt Disney World vacation with a magic voyage to our own island in the Bahamas. Call and discover uncharted magic. There's just so much to do. Let's stop a moment and look at the practical side again. Where should you stay? How do you plan your trip? There's a whole range of excellent resort hotels to suit every pocket here. There's great value at Disney's All-Star Resort and a range of moderately priced hotels like Disney's Port Orleans Resort, Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort and Disney's Dixie Landings Resort. There are premium resorts including Disney's Boardwalk, 
or the ultra-modern Disney's Contemporary Resort, Disney's Polynesian Resort for a flavor of the South Seas, Disney's Wilderness Lodge for the pioneer spirit, right up to the fantastic Disney's Yacht and Beach Club and the luxurious and spectacular Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. All these resort hotels put you right at the heart of the action, right where the magic is. And they are truly excellent hotels. The service is second to none as only Disney know how. You get a whole range of benefits if you stay in selected resort hotels. The transport within the Walt Disney World Resort is free. Buses, boats, the monorail, they're all free. You get early admission to one of the theme parks every day and guaranteed admission to the parks, which is useful in high season. Babysitting is available and there are kids clubs for children during the day. Best of all, your resort hotel is a themed holiday in itself with places to eat, swimming pool and additional facilities like special tea times for golf, tennis courts and water sports only available to guests at selected resorts. As a special treat for the children, book a character meal. They'll love meeting their favourite characters at breakfast or lunch. And you can book these in advance by calling 407 939 3463. And remember, we mentioned the unlimited Magic Pass earlier, giving you unrestricted access for the duration of your stay. If you're staying off-site, then you should get a Walt Disney World 7-day all-in-one hopper pass. This gives you unlimited access to the theme parks and water parks, Discovery Island and to Pleasure Island. And you're going to need all that time. There's so much to see and do. The great thing about the 7-day all-in-one hopper pass is that it has no expiry date, so you can buy it when you like before you travel and use it any time during your stay, any 7 days you like. The magic of it is that you can come and go as you please and really take your time to enjoy the experience of Walt Disney World. There's also a 5-day all-in-one hopper pass, but with the range of new attractions for 1998, including a whole new theme park, Disney's Animal Kingdom, you're going to need every minute of those seven days. Check out the leaflet that came with this video for full details. There's a really helpful guide available, the Walt Disney World Holiday Planning Guide, that will give you masses of ideas of what to do. It's got sample itineraries so you can get some idea of the range of things there is to do and lots more useful details and tips. If you haven't already got hold of one, visit your local Disney store or call this number 0990 200 605. That's 0990 200 605 for your free copy. Whatever you do, take it easy, relax and soak up the atmosphere. It really is magical here. There's always something amazing going on. It's got to be the experience of a lifetime. Let's see what the Kearns and the Colwells thought. How would you sum up the holiday? Staying on site is a great benefit. Transportation is made easier for you by their coaches. Nothing's too much trouble. It's been amazing, but this is our fourth trip here and it gets better every time. We've had an unlimited pass this time, which is very good. You can come and go as you please. You don't have to cram everything into one day. Oh, it's amazing. You, you need a lot of time to get around everything. There's so much to do everywhere. The, the rides, they're just so great. Everything's organised for the for the visitors to the parks. They just make it so enjoyable for you. So here's one or two general tips. Ask the guest relations staff at your resort hotel for help and advice. They'll be only too happy to help you make the most of your plans. Take some sort of photo ID with you when you go out. The legal drinking age is 21 and they're very strict. Use the marked Kodak photo spots to get the very best pictures to remind you of your trip. Use your resort ID card for purchases in the park so you don't have to carry too much cash. And remember, if you buy videos as souvenirs, be sure to get these specially marked PAL versions. PAL is the UK video format. American versions will not work at home. So that's a hint of the magic of Walt Disney World in sunny Florida. It really is an incredible place. So how do you get here? For this video, we teamed up with Unijet, who are offering some fabulous holiday deals in the special Unijet Walt Disney World brochure. You'll see that they feature 16 hotels, eight of which are amongst the most popular Walt Disney World resort hotels. They also offer direct flights to the Orlando area from seven different UK airports. 
so you won't have to travel far to go to catch your flight. And you can pre-book your Disney theme park passes so everything's taken care of before you leave home. So make sure you check out the Unijet brochure you received with this video for information on great holiday deals. You can call Unijet in the UK on 0990 114 114. That's 0990 114 114. Finally, a big thank you to our two families for letting us join in the holiday and sharing the fun with us. Well, they certainly enjoyed it. I know you will too. This is the place where dreams really can come true, where fantasy becomes reality and reality is simply magical. One of the best places to get your Hopper Pass is at the Disney stalls located all over the UK. Hi, welcome to the Disney store. You'll also be able to get first-hand Disney information and advice on places to stay and special events happening in the parks. Disney stores are a great place to get you thinking about your holiday way before you get on the plane. With exclusive Disney merchandise, legendary customer service, it's a fun and unique shopping experience for the whole family. This year, the Disney stores are giving away these luggage tags absolutely free when you buy your Hopper Pass. The Disney Store. Now that's magic.